Real Clear Defense presents the Crouching Tiger Project, a series designed to examine key questions for the 2016 presidential election campaign. This episode raises the crucial question of the size of the American naval fleet needed for an effective pivot to Asia. Americans don't understand the history. They don't realize the fact that our power, our status as a great power is inseparable from our status as a dominant naval power. Ships are not going away. Um, despite people who think they're going away, they're not going away. I'm a Navy guy, I'm a Naval Academy guy, we need more ships, more ships, more ships, and more ships. And more ship types that can deal with these different challenges. The size of our Navy, just four or five years ago, was projected to be needed at about 350 ships. The administration in its first term settled on a number of about 313 ships. By the time the second term started and sequestration set in, they were not only accepting 290 ships and, and down, it was heading right down to 250 ships, and a lot of those ships were very small ships. They even counted hospital ship within the 250. That's heading in the wrong direction. The United States declared through the pivot that 60% of the naval forces would now be allocated to the Pacific. The idea of uh, this kind of almost a basketball step in which you move away, some prefer to use the term rebalance. The problem is with a shrinking fleet, what that actually means is that uh, it would nullify our attempts to pivot to Asia. Our forward presence in Asia would be the same by 2020 because, of course, a smaller fleet size means a, a smaller number in absolute terms. If you don't build enough ships, then the number of people who know how to build them will look for other jobs. Uh, and that's what's happened to the sea power industrial base of the United States steadily uh, since the end of the Reagan administration. China's industrial base, its defense industrial base, is growing. Uh, it's what's fueling or providing the means of this military buildup. And China is uh, building enormous excess capacity for the production of some kinds of weapon systems. Uh, so dual uh, construction lines for the production of some ships and submarines. China is turning out lots of ships, many ships per year. It's building several classes of attack submarine. It's building patrol boats for closer to shore duties. It's building destroyers, frigates, ballistic missile submarines, aircraft carriers. And uh, in addition to that, it maintains the largest merchant marine fleet in the world. They have a flourishing defense industrial base. They have a flourishing shipyard industrial capacity. Uh, and they're using it. And they, we don't. That means that if a large and dangerous event occurs that requires sea power response, we're basically screwed until that industrial base can be brought up to speed again. And 10 or 15 years in those terms is a long time. Mm -hmm.